Question 9. What is a proceeding joint point? When it is used? So a proceeding joint point is an object that you can use with the around advice. Spring will inject proceeding joint point into the method of your aspect if this is the first argument of the method. Proceeding joint point is an object that you can use to change the method arguments of the original method during the execution, or you can block execution of the original method entirely. Proceeding joint point uh, is used in around advice and it contains all of the method from the joint point, but also adds additional methods. The added methods are proceed, which executes the original method with the original arguments, and also proceeds the second version that you can use to inject your own arguments. That way you can either filter out the arguments or you can add additional argument during the execution. Proceeding joint point can be used in the following cases. You can conditionally block the method execution. For example, it might be useful uh, for the authorization uh, to the method execution based on the user role. You can filter out the arguments or you can inject additional argument into the method execution. Now let's go into the code and let's have a look how it works in action. Please open module 2 and question 9. Over here you have the example of the method execution. Uh, the method is called save transaction data. It takes a few arguments. The first is identifier, then a data, and then the uh, private key which is annotated with the sanitize. And now let's have a look at what will happen if I will execute this method. Now I have a look at that it is executed with the identifier being A001, the data being amount equals 50, and also we have a private key 5232. And in the safe transaction data, actually nothing is happening. It just prints the results of the string format. So what we should actually see on the screen is that we should have the identifier data and private key printed. So it should say A001, amount equals 50, and private key equals 5232. Now let's execute this class and let's have a look what will be the outcome of the execution. And after executing, you can see that I identifier matches correctly. The amount matches correctly as well. However, the private key is different. Now the question is what has happened during this execution? Why the private key is different? So the answer for this is that we have the aspect that is being executed uh, when this method is executed. So if we will actually uh, run this uh, in the debug mode, we will see that we are not invoking the transaction history service client, but instead we are invoking the uh, CGD proxy that is working under the hood. So what is happening under the hood is that this aspect is being executed because it contains a point cut expression that is executed for all of the objects that are uh, for all of the methods, uh, for all of the classes that are returning any type and they are located within the package that starts with the com, then has a beans, and then any class, any method with any first argument and any additional arguments. And uh, this is the match for the save transaction data over here because this class is located with the package that is starting with the com. It has the beans and then it has a first argument as well. So let's have a look at what this aspect is doing. Basically, this aspect is, uh, is effectively uh, filtering the arguments uh, for the method execution, but only uh, for, for those arguments that are annotated with the sanitized annotation. So over here, you can see that the uh, argument over here is annotated with the sanitize. And what this, what this aspect do is, is using a proceeding joint point as the first argument of this aspect. And Spring is injecting this proceeding joint point because this is the first argument. And then it is doing a proceed so it executes the original method, but all of the arguments over here are being filtered. So the method sanitize arguments if required is being executed. And basically it goes through all of the, uh, all of the arguments and it sanitizes argument if required. 
So if we have the argument that contains the annotation sanitize and also this argument is a string class, then basically it does not result the or it does not return the original argument. Instead, it injects the sanitize. So this is an example how you can use the proceeding joint point with the proceeding method and the filtering of the arguments to sanitize some sensitive data, for example, uh, in your code without changing the original code. Uh, in this case, all you have to do is to just the put the sanitize into this one. So let's execute this one again. Uh, Let's have a look at the results. So we can see that this is sanitized. Let's say, for example, now that we would like to sanitize the identifier as well. So we are just putting the sanitize into the identifier. And now we will see that the identifier will be sanitized together with the private key, but the data is the original, uh, original data that was uh, put into the argument during the method execution. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get answers to all Spring exam topics, including code examples, you can get a full Spring Professional Certification exam tutorial following the link in the description.